to watch. You know, the end of that game after fouling out, did you did you think they could pull it out without you? Um, it was terrible being on the side, but of course I had faith in my teammates. Um, before I walked off the court, we all got together and I was like, y'all got this, y'all, y'all know what to do. Like, I believe in y'all, let's do this. And I never thought that we were going to lose. I had faith in them the whole time and they pulled it out. And, and uh, you know, not exactly like the last game, but you guys did overcome a, a late deficit. What what do you think was the key to that and how to feel to do it again? Um, just we've we've done it a lot of times. <laughs> Um, we're used to seeing it by now. Um, last time we played them, I think we were down eight or even more and we came back. So we've just gotten used to it and not something we want to be used to, but we're used to fighting. We're used to fighting back from uh, being down and it's just our our chemistry as a team. We just keep going. You guys were down by eight down there with about seven minutes left and one. Tonight you're down by seven with about six left and one. Kind of didn't have a 17 to two run. What did you think about you know, rallying again. Yeah, uh, I think we just uh, trying to find a way. That's a, that's been our motto. You know, I feel like we can win any type of game. We just got to um, buckle down when it comes to those moments and find a way to win. We got out rebounded crazy tonight, but you know, we still came up with the the W. That's all that matters. To be playing your last game in Bud Walton Arena and to have the individual performance that you did, and then also to come out with a win like that. Just, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? How does it make you feel? It's a, it's a great feeling, you know. Um, you know, I definitely didn't want to lose this game. Didn't want to have my last memory in Bud Walton and be be a loss, whether I played good or not. But you know, it's just a bonus. I'm happy that my teammates were able to experience this with me, and it's just been a, it's been a crazy ride, and we got a long way to go still. And for us tonight. Um, I'm starting to get used to these type of performances from Stan. Um, we all know that he can score the ball multiple ways. He's re we know he can rebound. We know he can defend. Um, his game has developed so much since he got here, and, and now I'm just used to him having these games and having these three-pointers, clutch three-pointers at the end of the game, just whatever it is, and I'm glad to be his teammate. Scott, Stan, knowing the coaching staff, I'm sure they made you aware of, like, your home road splits from three the last couple of games. I think you're six of, I think, 13 from three the last couple of home games. So it was like you shot it with a lot of confidence tonight just to see mm -hmm. those big shots go down, like, can you describe that that feeling? Yeah, no, it's it's a great feeling, especially you know considering how bad I started the season shooting the ball. I remember I think I was like nineteen percent at one point, but you know I, at home I haven't been shooting it as well. But the past few games have been all right. First half tonight, you know I had two air balls, so you know I'm confident shooting the ball no matter where I'm at. It doesn't it doesn't matter no matter where I'm at on the court or in here or Alabama or it doesn't matter where I'm at. But it's just about getting the reps in, you know, continue to work on it and and just knocking them down. My teammates keep finding me in good spots, so. Just knocking them down. Oh no! I mean, no, nothing. Nothing really specific jumps out to me. But um, we don't play anymore here for the rest of the year. So, <laughs> uh, Jalen, early on, you were forcing yourself inside. You were having some success with that. Was that kind of part of the plan coming out to start the game? You were gonna power yourself inside or was that just what what you were getting from their defense um it was kind of what they were just giving me my teammates were finding me um we knew from the jump that they were gonna blitz on jv every time i set a screen so the short roll would be uh really good really good thing for me and they were just finding me when open spots like i cut down on the lane stand found me like they were just finding me at the right times when i was open and really just thanks to my teammates I guess with JD struggling to shoot tonight, how big was it for him to get the two free throws that, that you know, put it out of reach? Um, we, he stepped up to the line, and I don't think anybody on our team thought he was going to even get close to missing one of them. So um, we know he's a confident player. He can miss 25 shots in a row, and he's still going to shoot that 26 shot with the most confidence in the building. And we all believe in JD just as much as he believes in himself. So we, we, we're excited when he shoots shots. We're excited to see him score, do whatever he is. And when he's having nights like this, he still defends. He still is big for the team. He had five assists for us, and we're still all confident in JD. Also, uh, Darius Day seems to be either feast or famine. Just kind of what got him going tonight. You all shut him down the last game. Um, he was getting a lot of second chance three-pointers, spray out three-pointers. And that came from us giving up however many offensive rebounds to them. And, they were getting them on second chance points and stuff like that. And he just hitting transition, whatever it was. And we we, sh we should have did a better job on that. Stan, how much do you get into your mid-range spots and not having a couple of those down to kind of get you going? And then can you kind of describe what happened at the end of the first half on that, that short jumper? 
Oh, uh, yeah, the mid range is it's really my go to. Um, and especially when I'm not hitting from the three, you know, I think I was one for five in the first half from three. And my coaches just told me, you know, they're, they're, they're closing out on you hard. Just just drive them and make a play. So I think um, just not trying to settle for the three ball, even though I've been shooting it pretty, pretty good. But in the end of the first half, J.D. just found me in the middle of the paint, just floated it up. Talked about got a, a rebound pretty bad, but you got more free throws. Kind of, kind of won the game from there. You know, at the very end, and really throughout. What would you think of your ability to get to the line, draw fouls, and and, and win that way? Uh, yeah, that's been like our calling card all, all year. You know, getting to the line and and, and make, knocking down free throws. I haven't been shooting free throws uh, particularly well this year, but tonight we went. What did we go? 24, 28, and you know that was the difference uh, compared to. You know, with the old boards, we had to knock down our free throws to get the win. JD hit two big ones at the end. Stanley, what you think of, of Jay Wool's game? You know, I know he fouled out, but still another double double. Yeah, no, he set the tone for us. I think he had eight boards in, in the first half or something like that. But he set the tone for us going inside, hitting a couple jumpers. You know, whenever he's playing like that on the offensive side, we're we're basically unstoppable. You guys finished seventeen one here, Walton Arena. I know you had that tough loss to Bandy, but. Uh, just what would you think of the way you played at home this year? And really, you guys, Stanley's obviously your first time to get to play here. Other than that time you played for South Dakota, and Jay Will was really your first time to get experience the full crowd. Just what was it like this year? What would you think of what you guys did here? Um, it's crazy. We talked about it in the locker room, like our last five, six games were like this. And it's crazy being able to play in front of this hometown love or home state love and how much they support us is crazy. And it just makes us want to do better for them, makes us want to work harder for them and give back to them just as much as they're giving to us. And it gives us a home advantage every time, playing with the crowd that big and just getting hyped from the crowd. We we get energy from them just as much as we do from each other. So it's big for us. And growing up in the state of Arkansas, this is what you want to do. You want to play on that court in front of 20,000 people. You grow up fantasizing uh, about playing like that. And it's just a dream come true for me. What were your thoughts being a yeah, same thing, same thing, you know, a dream come true. You know, I grew up thinking about playing college basketball and I, I'm, I'm picturing, you know, these environments that we've had the last couple of games. And, you know, there's just experiences that I won't forget, you know, these these home games that we've had in front of all these fans. It's just been a dream come true. Um, I know you guys go enjoy this one, but you got to go to Tennessee Saturday. I don't know if we'll get you for that. So I hope it's OK. Um, they haven't lost at home all year. And, and Jalen, after the game here, Rick Barnes is pretty vocal. He didn't call you by name, but he mentioned he didn't like a lot of those charge calls that Arkansas got. He was obviously referring to you. Just what do you think about going there, trying to be the first team to win in Knoxville? Um, we know that it's going to be a big challenge going in there, knowing that they're undefeated this year there. But to us, it's just another game. We got to go there with the same intensity that we bring here, go play with the same enthusiasm, play hard on defense, play great offense, share the ball, great chemistry. We just got to do the same things and go into it just like it's another game. It's the biggest game of the year for us, every game is. So we just got to go in there and play how we've been playing. You guys talked about him complaining about those calls you got? Um, I mean, it's going to happen. Keep doing what you're doing. It's going to happen. <laughs> nah. 45 questions. I know you all pride yourself on toughness and going for loose balls. What was it like when the ball was on the deck tonight? Crazy. Uh, yeah, we were laughing about it. That that one that we had on their side of the uh, floor, we were all diving on the ground. Me and JD were talking about it like, hey, we both hit our knee on the ground. It was, it's, it's exciting. It shows this team's willing to do that. Like, it was in the first half, like, lat, one of the last games of the season, we're still doing that. We don't, mm -hmm. like – it just shows that how tough we are as a team. Everybody was tired. I looked at Stan and started laughing. Just <laughs> it was it was a funny sequence for us. Thanks, guys. Yes, sir.